Attention beauty brands, because despite stagnant sales for the overall beauty category, there's one shopper whose enthusiasm for fragrance and mascara is totally driving much of the industry's growth. Talking about Latina consumers, they have been consistently outpacing that of non-Hispanic shoppers across every single beauty segment. As a result, Latinos who are now closing in on representing almost 20% of the U.S. population are becoming more important to the healthcare and beauty industry. And if you are ever on social media, you you can't help but notice the amount of Latina beauty and makeup bloggers with both small and large following making a name for themselves. This morning we wanted to chat with one such enterprising Latina local beauty influencer. Joining us this morning is Elga Mercedes, one of the area's top beauty and image consultants in the Latino community. She's got over 50,000 followers on Instagram, another 50,000 on, uh, on uh, Facebook, and uh, good morning. Good morning. Thank Good. you for having me. Absolutely. So let's start with this. Um, what is it exactly that you do? I am a makeup artist and also a um, stylist okay. consultant. So I basically just help women look better, feel better. Sometimes change their image. Change their, their, yes, their image, their clothes, their face, their makeup, hair, anything that they want to look and feel better. So if I wanted to send I, someone here to you, you would totally make her up and. Yes, and, clothes, hair, makeup, everything. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying anything, but that, I think I have a few candidates here at Channel 7. Um, that, that that would be perfect, that would be a good, a good present. Yeah, and I sure. don't mean Soko, by the way, I don't mean Soko. But anyways, so um, let's get into this because sure. You, you kind of got into this as a hobby and now you have all these followers and now you're like an influencer. Yes, yeah, so I started very young. I started when I was thir 13. Yeah. And back then we didn't have YouTube. It was just basically practicing and just playing around. The past couple of years, the beauty industry, especially through social media, Instagram, it has exploded. Right. So now people can see your work. They follow you. They 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 want to get their makeup done with you. They look up to you. They take they want to take pictures with you. It's amazing. Yeah. What it has happened. I also know that uh, lately, uh, through the social media and through everything, you've done uh, some high-profile events. One of the young ladies before said, "Oh, you're the makeup artist." Yes. And recently, you did someone who was actually here at Channel Seven and mm -hmm. my old intern. Um, Carolina Martinez, Pedro yes. Martinez's wife, yes. um, for her TV appearances, right? Yes, yeah, so she was here on her media tour yes. for Feast with 45, and I had the pleasure of working for, you know, with her the whole the entire day. I was able to just basically take care of her makeup, her hair, her image in the morning for her for her interviews and also during the day. So you, and I thank you for that. No, you, you've <laughs> got to send this to Carolina. I'm going to tell you why, because there's a connection here. So Carolina, and I know Jen was here when she came. Carolina is Pedro's wife, Pedro Martinez's wife. Mm -hmm. She was an intern mm -hmm. of El Mundo. I think she'd come here. I had her on as a guest. And you were a Latino youth recognition recipient. You were on the field with me 20 years ago. I was. <laughs> as a 13 year old. Yes. Getting an award because of your academic, what school were you representing? Um, what was it? The McCormack. 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 Do you remember that? Yes, I who, remember. Who gave you the award? Um, it was Jose Canseco. Jose Canseco. And it was huge for us because as a Hispanic family, it was the first time that my parents, my dad, my mom, my, our brothers ever went to Fenway Park. We came out on the, on the yeah. newspaper. It was just the, one of my, my biggest accomplishments so far. Yeah. Good, yes. good, good, good. Thank so you. So it's all Again. connected. This is, <laughs> this is what I love about Revista Hispana. Somewhere, somehow, you're going to make it to the show. But let's get back to your, uh, your, uh, sure. your social media because yes. let's take some pictures because you are very active on both Instagram yeah. and Facebook. Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously this is part of your, right? You do a lot of before and after photos? I do a lot of before and after photos. I do a lot of workshops. Um, I do, I sponsor a lot of girls um, for their proms, for their um, beauty contest. I work with- That is um, definitely a before and after, that's right? Definitely before and after. I also, something that I wanted to mention with you, I work with, um, with women with cancer. If they want to get their makeup done, they can just um, reach out to me and I'll do it for free and I'll take care of their image for free, hair, everything for free. Okay, so how do they contact you? Well, let's put up um, that website. They can website. contact me either through my email, which is makeupbyisbella at gmail.com, or they can just send me a direct DM through Instagram at um, makeupbyisbella. All right, so I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna ask Soko to keep up the information up for a little bit longer, yes. the, uh, the website, just so people, Definitely. Um, will that, because you. that's the same um, tag as you have on Instagram, right? Yes, the, it is. How did you come right. up with that name? The Makeup by Isbella, um, since I was 
a little girl, my dad used to call me Bella. Oh. And I sort of Bella. Just, Bella, Bella. Bella. And it's, I, it started as, in, as if it was in Spanish. Right. Makeup by S. Bella, uh -huh. uh, meaning she's beautiful. Yes. And it just took off from there. Oh, good, good, good. Now, I was talking about this, you know, uh, Latina consumer. So you must be busy because, you know, today's Sunday, but I bet you on Thursday and Friday, especially Friday, mm -hmm. a lot of Latinas go to the beauty salon, get their, I mean, they prepare well ahead of time before going they out, right? Do. So they give you a call for what are some of the special events? They usually book me or reach out to me either a, usually a month before. They oh. want to make sure that they're, that, that, that slot is safe for them. I get a lot of weddings. I, lot, I, get a lot, I do a lot of celebrities, um, local artists, um, Swift 15, special occasions. Um, so they booked you uh, that uh, A month in advance. They want to make sure <laughs> that I have that slot available. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy and, for us guys. Yeah. I decide what I'm uh, what I'm gonna wear like 15 minutes before I go we out the door. We don't. We know that there's an event happening a month from now. We want to make sure that we are ready for that day. That's awesome. And that everything's gonna be taken care of. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing, Elga. Okay, y claro, uh, I could not finish the segment without just showing off her Spanish skills because she's completely bilingual. Gracias. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Tú eres Muchas de dónde? Gracias. Bueno, ¿tú naciste aquí, verdad? Bueno, no. Yo nací en República Dominicana, oh. en un pueblo que se llama Navarrete, por Santiago. Sí. Y, vi, y vine para acá, para Estados Unidos, cuando tenía ocho años de edad. Ya. Yeah. Y ahora te has establecido aquí, esta es tu Boston. ciudad, Boston. Esta es mi ciudad. Y te dedicas a ma maquillaje. A maquillar y a la imagen de la mujer y al cuidado de, de la apariencia de la mujer. Ok. Good uh -huh. job. Muchas gracias. Estamos orgullosos de ti. Ay, igualmente. Keep it up, Elga. Gracias. Thank All you right. so much. Don't move because coming up next, you're going to meet a new batch of eager interns looking to learn more Spanish and more about the Latino community. So, of course, they have to stop here at La Vitipana. You'll meet two of them right here next. <laughs>